Okay, welcome back. Uh, today we're going to talk about precision and accuracy. Uh, this is section 4.2 in my Math 116 class. This will probably be a short little video uh, because accuracy we've already talked about. We just don't know it right at the moment. Now, what is accuracy? Okay, so accuracy and precision. I mean, think about a bullseye. I mean, accurate. You hit the bullseye, precision, you hit, I mean, you hit right at, or accuracy, you, you hit the target, precision, you hit the bullseye. Now, I've got a list of, accuracy and precision, I've got six examples. So what I'm gonna do is I wanna talk about accuracy first and then the precision, okay? Accuracy means how many significant digits there are. And that was what we learned about in our last video, which talked about significant digits in section 4.1. So, so what you have to do is you have to say, okay, 420, how many significant digits are there? One, two, but there, that zero is not included. So there are a total of two. Okay. Now remember on, on number two, you do not include the first two zeros, but you have to include two, one, and five, which is, there are three significant digits. Now at any time in this video, please pause it. And you can also go back and review as many times as you need. Now number three, I've got, you don't count the zero, but you count the one, seven, five, zero, zero. That's a total of five. In number four, you got four, five, zero, zero, which is four. But now in number five, even though I do have that same zero, but look where the bar is. I've switched it to one, two, three. And finally, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this is kind of a review of what we learned about in section 4.1. The precision part, you look at the 420. So I'm gonna go ahead and look at the, you wanna look at 420, okay? Now, what number is the last significant digit in? That's in the 10 spot. So that means the precision would be 10. Take a look at the 0 0.0215. What is the 5 in? Well, the 5 is in. What happens is the, the 0 stay the same. The 2 turns into a 0. 1 turns into a 0. So that 5, we don't round or anything. It's what position it is in. It's this right here. It's tenth, hundredth, thousand, ten thousand. Okay. What about the, the next one? I'll use a different color. I want to kind of separate these a little bit. What about zero point one seven five? Zero, zero. Well, you have to look at that last zero. So by doing that, zero, the one turns into a zero, seven, the zero, five, a zero, that zero out right here stays the same. And then the zero turns into a one. So you're always going to have a one in the precision. four, five, zero, that bar means we include that zero. So that means what, what place is this right here? It's a one. You don't have to put anything in front of it. It's an understood one. What about the four, five, zero, zero? Well, 
the four, five, the zero is included. So what spot is this in? It's in the tenth. The same position as number one is. They can't have the same precision, even though the one number is bigger than the other. So please do not let that um, sidetrack you any. And finally, two zero five point zero 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 eight. So basically, that last is included. So what does that turn into? I'm going to kind of write it right below it. 0, 0, 0, point zero 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 one. So all I care about is 0 point, you got three zeros in the 1. So notice in the precision, every one of them has a 1 in the spot. And like I said before, go back and review this as many times as you need. Now, the last part of this is greatest possible error. Okay. Now, what the greatest possible error is, It's one half the precision. So precision, what we need to do is we're going to say it's, it's always going to be one half of something. Okay. So it depends on, it's the last, first of all, it's the last of the significant digits. So 7.50, that zero is included. What position is that in? It's in the 100th. So you'd put just like this. And your answer is when you take half of this, it's going to be 0 0.005. We're cutting that in half. Okay, what about 6,500? Well, the zeros are not included. That five, what position is that five in? The five is in, look, is in the, it's in the third position, so it's in the 100. So what is one half of 100? It is 50. And finally, you have to include, so... You don't include the zero, but you include, you go all the way to that final zero right here. Okay. So that means what position is that in? Well, it's 0, 0.0, 5 0, 7 0. That turns into a 1. So what is half of that? And notice something. On all of these, the decimals, not, not number two, but one and three, if you look at the pr precision, you're taking half of that, so you add a zero, and the one turns into a five. That is what somebody in my uh, last semester had mentioned is, do they all add a zero for the decimal? And, and yes, they do. And remember, all of them, even in number two, they include a five. So precision includes the one. And greatest possible error includes a five.
Okay, finally. We have fractions. Now, fractions are a little bit different than decimals. So, so the precision part, okay, is going to be a little bit different. But I'm still wanting to know what is the greatest possible error. So you still take one half of whatever we find the precision to be. So when we're dealing with fractions, we have to look at that three-fifths. Okay? Now, the precision part is what is it in? What's well, in fifths? Okay? When you're dealing with decimals, you're thinking of like hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, and so forth, or even 100,000 million spot. In this case, this is in the fifth. So you look at the denominator. So the precision is one-fifth. So that means that the greatest possible error, I'm going to abbreviate this, is what you do is you take one-fifth times one-half, and by the rules of fractions, you multiply the top, Multiply the bottom. So basically, you're doubling your denominator on the bottom of the number. Take a look at 9 and 4 sevenths. The only thing I care about is the 4 sevenths. The denominator is 1 seventh, so the precision... is one seven. The GPE is one seventh times one half, which comes out to be one fourteenth. Now for my class, my one sixteen class, homework number two is going to be on WebAssign. Okay, thank you for listening, and be looking out for my next set of videos. We're dealing with decimals and rounding. Thank you very much.